a sculptor who appeared in the lineage of the great sculptors of Mamalapurat now came forward. He had made a small toy temple according to his spiritual imagination to set up Karun Kalali in a new way. He now showed it to the queen. Maharani was very surprised to see it. He looked at the person standing near Alwarkadayan and said, Sir! Have you seen how wonderful this temple structure is? I am eager to build a temple like this in a new way in all the important Shiva's thalams in Tamil Nadu. Mother! What is the hindrance to fulfilling one's wish? One can take these kinds of cat alice in Shiva places where the Devara Batika song has been given. People will realize that this is a song place as soon as they see this temple structure. Said Izana Sivabhada. Yes, yes. I must collect all the hymns sung by Aparparuman, Nanasambandar, and Sundaramurthy. I must take Cat Alice with such sky-high flying towers in all the places where their feet have been sanctified with silk and their songs. These two are my dreams. I often doubt whether they will be fulfilled. Only my hero goes west. If the Lord had not joined Thiruvedi at that time dash if he had lived for some time dash all my wishes would have been fulfilled. What is lacking now? Mother! Has not the emperor decreed that they should do what they thought? Both his sons, even before they thought it in their hearts, assumed that it would be their will, and were willing to do it. When it was so. However, I am not so excited in my heart now. I hear something. Some complain that the government treasury is empty due to the temple repair work I am doing. Why are there so many temples for Shiva? They ask. I don't care what other people hear. Even the prince in Kanji. When the elder Pratiyar said this, all Alwarkadayan stood a step ahead and said, Mother! Adiyan is one of those who ask. He said. Maharani looked at him with some surprise. Others said, What the hell is this? They stared at Alwarkadayan with a look on their faces. Alvarkadian continued in a voice full of anger, Mother! My stomach is boiling. Is there such injustice? Can you, who are the incarnation of Dharma Devatai, give place to this injustice? He screamed. Isana Sivabhada, who was standing next to Thirumalay Appan, said, Empress. My brother will do something like this. He will suddenly get mad. Please forgive and have mercy. Said. At that time Sivas and Vaishnavas were not separated as separate castes. In the same family there will be Siva devotees and Vira Vaishnavas. He will perform Puja Kaingariam in Erpatar Shiva temple and Thirumal temple. Isana Shiva Butter has such a broad scope. Thirumali Upan was his half-brother. Both are very fond of each other. So Isana Shivbata apologized to Maharani for his brother's nervous speech. Devi smiled and understood. Thirumalai. Speak quietly. What injustice has happened now? He asked. Mother. How many temples are there for Lord Shiva, who lives by carrying a kapalam in his hand? How many roof temples? How many katalas? Shouldn't Vishnu Murti, who protects the world and protects the world, get even a temple? Shouldn't an old temple be renovated? Said Thirumali Upan. Mother! Akila Bhuvanam and Uyyananda danced Lord Needs Arena, Ambalam, Chitsava, Potsabha, Matok Temple, and Wald Palace. Is not a small place enough for Tirumal who sleeps restlessly? He wants only a dark room without lamp? What are the Matok Temples and Cat Alice for? said Isana Shivabhatra. Brother! Purumal who sleeps restlessly is the worldwide Purumal. It is Purumal who pressed Mahabali to the underworld. All Alwarkadians said. Such a worldly person Purumal could not find the feet of Lord Shiva even if he went digging to the underworld to visit the Batara Vindams of our Lord Shiva. Said Isana Shivabhatra. If your Lord Shiva is so great, I ask why he has a temple. When he enters the temple, he will knock his head and the temple will collapse. All Alwarkadians said. Hearing this. Mrs. Malavarayar laughed and said, Stop your fighting. Tirumala. What are you saying? Who said that a temple should not be built for Purumal? Which town do you want to renew the sky? 
Is that a good way to say it? said. Amini. Your father-in-law, Peyron Takachuk Raborty, who is famous in the three worlds. I went to Viranarayanapuram, which is his title. There Viranarayanapurumal does not sleep or close his eyes day and night, guarding the ocean like Viranarayana lake. Brick walls are falling down in the temple of such a Puruman. If the temple collapses the banks of the lake will collapse and hundreds of villages will be destroyed. The temple of Viranarayana Purumal should be restored and restored. He said. Well, let's do it. Tell me about it in detail. Let them all go now. Said Kolekula's old lady. Sensing the hint, everyone including Izana Shivabhatra left. At once, Sembian Mathavi lowered his voice and said, Tirumala. Where have you been on your pilgrimage? What did you see? What did you hear? Tell me in detail. You have brought something important. That is why you interrupted, right? He said that. Yes, mother. I have brought many things of importance. I will wait for your lordship, however. But you began to say something about the prince at Kanchi. That is why I forbade you. Who knows which of those who were here a little while ago is real and who is not. So many tragedies are happening in the country. When there's no telling who will betray you. Thirumali up and said. The big brat sighed. Members of the same family, blood relations, have become suspicious of each other. How much loyalty did Aditha Karigalan once have towards me? A hundred times more love and respect than his own mother? He has become pitiable for me. Thirumalai. How good it would have been if I had left this earth with my hero. Did you stop me from coming? Didn't you give me the work to do here and leave? What a coward I am! Said. Mother. Mahan, who has realized his own age, sat on this Chola throne like Janaka Maharaja in the Kali Yuga. It is the blessing of this country that he told them to exist. The responsibility of saving this Chola empire, which has been flourishing for a hundred years, from being destroyed by brotherly strife, is up to them. They are the only ones who can do it. I don't think so. How can I control others when my own son doesn't listen to me? Come on, you said about spies? Who here could have sent spies? Do you think Prince Aditha Karigalan would have sent them? Is he so distrustful of me? Said Madarazi, a devotee of Shiva. I have heard with both my ears, mother. Otherwise I would never have believed that Prince Kari Kalar would have suspected them. What did you hear, Thirumalai? What did you hear with your ears? I sat near a stone temple in Mamalapurat and heard them talking. Who are they? They decided to write a letter to the emperor and send it to an emissary. I also found out who the angel was. He is no ordinary angel. Great skill, valiant. An angel can do one job as well. I had a talk with him. If I enter the door, he tries to enter the kolam. He tried to understand many things from me without revealing anything. The child astrologer showed him his palm line. That didn't work either. Then I hear that he went to Tanjavur and gave the leaf to the emperor. I had a talk with him. If I enter the door, he tries to enter the kolam. He tried to understand many things from me without revealing anything. The child astrologer showed him his palm line. That didn't work either. Then I hear that he went to Tanjavur and gave the leaf to the emperor. I had a talk with him. If I enter the door, he tries to enter the kolam. He tried to understand many things from me without revealing anything. The child astrologer showed him his palm line. That didn't work either. Then I hear that he went to Tanjavur and gave the leaf to the emperor. Then what happened? What was the emperor's response? He said he would write the answer the next day. By then, the hunters had suspected something about him. He somehow managed to escape despite all their strictures. Then he is very clever, no doubt. What did you do then? After leaving Kanchi Puram. I left just to come here. On the way I stayed at Viranarayanapuram to visit Purumal. 
At the place where I stayed, I came to know a great secret by the grace of Purumal. What is it? Another secret. Yes, mother. It turns out that there was a great party that night at the Sambhavarayar's mansion in Kadampur. The great Palyavatarayar came to the party, and with him came Ilayarani's Palak. Tirumalai. Everything is her doing. The danger that has befallen this Chola country now is caused by that woman. Were you able to meet her and talk to her? I can't, mother. I can't. How many years I raised that female snake as my sister on their orders. I wandered everywhere and learned the great scriptures and taught her. It makes my heart boil to think of all that. After becoming the queen of the great hunter, she refuses to even look at me. What's the use of feeling sorry for that? This is how things are with the people of this world. Thinking is one thing, doing one thing ends up. Then what happened in Kadapur? Thinking that it was Nandini who had come to the palace, I went to Kadampur with the intention of somehow meeting her or writing a letter to warn her. Daring a great risk, I jumped over the wall of the Kadampur mansion, only then did the wonderful mystery come to light. Thirumalai. Such is your custom. You do not tell the news except to stir up more and more excitement. What is that wondrous mystery? I'm sorry, mother. I hesitate to say that. It was not the Isla Iarani of Pavuvar who was in the Mudupalak. We all thought that Pavuvatere was taking the Isla Iarani with him wherever he went, that was a big mistake. Whom is the old man going to put in the Mudupalak and take after him? Is there no limit to that old woman's power? It was not the woman who was in the closed palanquin, mother. If there is no woman? What man would hide in the mist? I'm sorry, mother. It was their servant Madhurandik Devar who disappeared in Mudupalak. Champion Mathavi was stunned for a while. My God! Is such a great punishment for my crime? He said under his breath. Then all were Kadayan told about the conspiracy meeting that took place on Arthara III in the Sambhavarayar mansion. I can't tell you how emotional Amadarasi was when she heard that. Alas! My son! Did I try to raise you as a sage of Shiva wisdom? Is this the use of it? Do you want to cause such disgrace to the Chola dynasty? Do you want to cause such great harm to the Chola empire? He lamented. Then he said, Tirumala. Look at me again and go away. By then I will talk to Kundave and think about how we can prevent this great calamity. Said. Mother. You had better not speak of this even to the princess. Why? Do you even doubt her? Is that natural mother? Is she Aditha Karakalar's lovely sister? So what? Tirumala. Even if you say that the sun rises in the west and sets in the east, I will believe you. Even if you believe that Tirumala is a greater deity than Lord Shiva, I will believe it. But if you blame Kundave, I will not believe it. On the day of her birth, the palace midwife brought the baby in both my arms. That day I brought her up first. I brought her up better than the son born in my womb. She also considers me as her birth mother and father and has been showing love and respect till today. Mother. Let me ask you something. Did Kundave Devi tell you about Kutantha's visit to the soothsayer? No, so what? Did Josier tell you about seeing a young man of the ape clan at home and then meeting him on the banks of the river? No, what is this question? What is your point in asking this? One secret they must not be told is that the princess is keeping. The youth I mentioned is the messenger of Aditya Kari Kalar, it would not be wrong to say that he is one. Thirumalai. Be that as it may. If Kunta doesn't tell me something, there's a good reason for it. I'd rather give up my life than suspect her. Said the Padamakashi of the Shivanana Kandarata Thar. He said, I. There is no need for such a time. Let their hopes come true. The princess has asked me to come to ask something. I will inform myself that she wishes to see.